Hi, it's Carrie from KDS Insurance Services. I hope this video finds you well today. It is Thursday and it is August the 19th and it is almost the weekend and I am ready for the weekend. I don't know about you. But in keeping with my two videos per week, I wanted to just pop in today, Thursday afternoon, and talk to you a little bit about condo insurance and what condo insurance is, um, what it means, what is covered, what's your responsibility and what's not, and where your responsibility normally ends when we're talking about a condo policy. So condo insurance is another property policy. Um, it's for you, the owner of the condo. And generally speaking, in a condo policy, your responsibility ends at wall in, meaning you have a condo and there's normally multiple multiple buildings and there's normally two or three or more in a condo complex and so the actual shell of the building is generally covered by another policy by the condo association and then you as the owner are responsible for anything that is in your condo unit wall in so if you think about cutting the build the wall in half um, and there are two sides to the wall meaning you and your neighbor 50 percent of the way in on that wall is going to be your responsibility and so having said that some of the responsibilities that you are responsible for um, are the structure the the beams the sheetrock um, you know the uh, sort of the bricks and mortar of the interior of a building. Uh, and by the way, while I'm, I'm talking, obviously I'm in a new <laughs> location today. Um, I'm filming from my bedroom because I'm still recovering from major foot surgery and I need to be uh, off my foot, need to have it elevated. And so this is my home away from home. This is my if you will put together office for the next probably couple of weeks so i apologize that it's not what you normally see and the video may not be exactly what you're used to seeing either i have new equipment that i'm working on so i apologize if it's not completely clear um so in advance i apologize for that so condo insurance is similar to homeowner's insurance. It's just that you live in a condo. You have all of the same coverages. You have dwelling coverage. You have personal property coverage. You have liability insurance coverage. You have personal belongings coverage, everything in your, bill, in your home. You have foundation coverage. You have water damage coverage. Um, you have backup, water backup coverage. Um, basically, all of the major endorsements and coverages that are on a homeowner's policy are also available on a condo policy because it is a property policy. It is what you, you are protecting the condo itself, not the entire huge building, but your part of that building is your responsibility. So um, it's going to come with the, all the different type of endorsements that's on a homeowner's policy too. You're, you're a, a building owner, so you get that. You're a property owner, and then you um, can have all of the other types of endorsements, alarm equipment, and multi-policy um, discounts, and the age of your roof discount, and um, any of the other security measures that are in your condo association too uh, can be an additional discount. So it's important once again to talk to your agent about the types of coverages that your particular carrier offers on a condo. Um, there are not as many carriers in the market for condos as there are homeowners. So it's really important to talk to your agent about what those coverages are, where their coverage begins because in a lot of cases on condo, um, one carrier may start coverage inside the building sooner than another carrier might offer that coverage. So it's important to ask those questions to your agent. 
it's important to also ask about the different the the discount levels that are available um, and the exclusions that your particular carrier has for a condo policy so it is very similar to a home it's just a different type of home you own and occupy the property and so therefore you have to have what we call homeowners insurance but it's titled differently because of the type of property and it's called condo condo insurance so make sure you talk to your agent ask all the appropriate questions and um, make sure you're dealing with somebody that's licensed we've talked about that numerous times and that's condo insurance it's it's pretty much the same as a homeowner it's just a different type of coverage where your um, responsibility lies based upon the actual structure of the building and what your where your carrier coverage begins so that's a that's the biggest question when you're talking to your agent about condo insurance and then of course your condo association is going to have some requirements that your agent's going to have to look at and make sure that they get you with the right carrier to meet those obligations for your condo association so again these these videos are for your educational purposes i'm not endorsing carriers i'm not confirming coverages we've talked about this in every video um, this is for your educational purposes so you understand what you do or you don't have um, to also make sure you're right working with the right people um, a lot of people just talk to whomever answers the phone and that person may not necessarily have an insurance license and so it's an important question to always ask always ask when you call your agent's office it don't it, it's not a rude question it's just a question you need to ask as a insured that you're dealing with somebody who is licensed and understands the coverages because somebody who's not licensed shouldn't be answering coverage questions period end of story so that's very important so i hope this has been helpful for you i would really appreciate it if you would like this video hit the subscribe button um hit the little bell so you know when you're when i'm notifying you of new videos and i'm going to be posting two videos a week as i talked about we've pretty much covered most of the property coverages so we're going to get next week into some heavy stuff like life and health insurance which is very complicated and where most people struggle to understand what they need how much they need and all those good things so we'll be talking more about those issues that are really important for your entire financial picture um, and of course for your family uh, if something happens to you we want to make sure that your family's taken care of so that's it for today thank you so very much for for joining me i really appreciate it and as i said please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and that you like these videos you hit the subscribe button that really does help me and uh, leave me some comments i'd love to hear from you as i've said if you have something you want me to talk about let me know and i'm happy to do it my number is 832-391-8271 and my website is www.kds-insurance-services.com and I would love to hear from you. Make it a great rest of the day. Have a splendid weekend. Stay safe. Many blessings to you. And God bless. Thanks again for joining me today.